Would the congregation please rise? Welcome in the name of Jesus, the Savior, who died and was raised to new life by the grace of God. We are gathered here to worship, to remember before God our brother Arlen, to give thanks for his life, to commend him to our merciful Redeemer, and to comfort one another. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, the Savior of the world, we were baptized into his death. We are buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, so that as we are raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall most certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. Thanks be to God. Please join together in our processional hymn, Abide With Me. You can find that in your hymnals found in the pews. Hymn number 629. <laughs> The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. O oh God of grace and glory, we remember before you today our brother Arlen. We thank you for giving him to us to know and to love, 
as a companion in our pilgrimage on earth, in your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us faith to see that death has been swallowed up in the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ, so that we may live in confidence and in hope until by your call we are gathered to our heavenly home in the company of all your saints, through Jesus Christ our Savior and Lord. Amen. I invite you all to be seated. Please do turn in the back of your bulletins, everyone. As we continue with reading God's word, we'll read together Psalm 23, as you see printed. Together we read, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. And a reading from the Holy Gospel of St. John, the 14th chapter, as Jesus says to the disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Here ends the reading. Dear Linda and all of you siblings, I got you all figured out, I think, everyone. Shirley, Barb, Dennis, Sharon, and Dale, did I get you all? And our in-laws and all of the family gathered this day. May the good Lord's rod and staff comfort you as God gathers you together as a sheep of God's own fold. And for all of you dear friends and loved ones who are in this place, who got to love Arlen in his day-to-day -day living, may you sense the green pastures and the still waters to which God leads you today and all days, especially as you commend Arlen back to God. And each of you who remembers Arlen today, may God's goodness and mercy surround you, follow you, as you trust in the promise that absolutely Arlen now lives forever in the house of the Lord as his shepherd has led him there. Our God is a good shepherd. This shepherd indeed makes us lie down in green pastures where God supports us and gives us abundant life with God and with each other of this flock. This good shepherd also protects you as God leads you, you God's sheep, and takes you beside those still waters. And most of all, this good shepherd lifts you up through God's only son, Jesus Christ, who lived and died and was raised so that not even death could separate you from your good shepherd or from the flock of these loved ones, whether in this life or in the next. This good shepherd is the exact shepherd that brought Arlen beside still waters. The still waters of his baptism in this very congregation 
on September 24th, 1942, when Arlen was only two and a half weeks old. God named and claimed Arlen in those waters, promising him that he would always have the gift of abundant life where the Lord would grow seeds of faith throughout his years. And Arlen got to affirm those seeds of faith growing. As he confirmed his faith on March 25th, the picture's even out there, of 1956, when he was confirmed in this very sanctuary. Now born as the oldest to ten children, to Virgil and Dorothy on the family, family farm, Arlen's life was shaped by seeds growing, first so, and then by second, that sense that he liked to have of being first as, of course, we know he was born first. So first, Arlen's life, shaped by seeds growing for the harvest, which did truly manifest itself literally in helping on the family farm with you siblings as growing up, and then later with father-in-law Ernest, as he got to help him in those adult years. And Arlen's life was also literally shaped by those seeds growing as he loved the gardening and the yard work. His life, shaped by seeds growing, also took on such a form of dedication for who he loved throughout all his years and for what he did for such a duration of numerous years. The warehouse forklift operator, manager of Western Paper Company for 41 years, and being a softball coach in Lincoln. Think of the countless players' lives he got to be part of and to touch. But the best of those seeds growing was with you, seeds of love, Linda, that got to grow for almost 40 years. Goodness and mercy got to follow you all the days of your life, Linda, as you two got to literally travel in so many places. The good shepherd led you along right paths as what a life of joy you carried with each other. Now, as Arlen's life was first shaped by seeds growing, his life was secondly shaped by being first. Or, as I should say, the family filled me in on this, everyone, being the center of attention, or liking to be the one who wins or catch the big one. As Arlen taught Dennis and others how to hunt, Arlen was always the first to get the shot, and I understand he never missed that shot either. Arlen loved to be first at winning cards or getting that bigger win in the jackpot like he did not too long ago. And who could claim being crowned Prince Charming at the Cinderella Ball in high school but Arlen? Arlen also loved to be first or the center of attention and getting to tell the punchline of a joke or show you the card trick before anyone else. And in his, fa in his family's words, there was the right way the wrong way, and Arlen's way, correct? Correct. <laughs> Which, I am guessing, it usually included his honoriness, just having fun in this life, enjoying life to the fullest as he did, especially as getting to go fishing, and always asking strangers, no matter where they were, where are you from? Arlen's way also included another way, Jesus' way. Those seeds of faith never stopped growing in Arlen's life. Now, of course, Arlen liked Arlen's way, like most of us do, and Arlen's way probably got in front of Jesus' way a few times, so he probably did a little bit of confessing here and there. But we know that he knew that there could be no Arlen's way without Jesus' way. Jesus' way is what carried Arlen through those good and harder times of life, through mistakes made, through broken relationships, loss of family like his own son, a heart attack, the loss of a leg, and then most recently illness on top of COPD. Knowing Jesus' way is what gave Arlen his way through it all. And knowing Jesus' way is also now what has given Arlen his way to the Father, his way to the place where Jesus prepared Arlen, a dwelling place in the house of the Lord forever. When Arlen breathed his last, just recently, Jesus the way 
came to him and took him to himself, leading him through the valley of the shadow of death into a new life with God and all the loved ones gone before him. So dear ones, do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, the good shepherd. Believe in Jesus' way that made Arlen's way possible and that also makes your way possible. Possible with abundant life, now and forever. And all of God's people say, Amen. At this time, we'll be blessed with special music by Arlen's niece, Jody, singing Stars in Heaven. There's a wound here in my heart where something's missing. And they tell me that it's gonna heal with time. But I know you're in a place where all your wounds have been erased. And knowing <coughs> yours are healed is healing mine. The only scars in They won't belong to me and you. There'll be no such thing as broken. And all the old will be made new. And the thought that makes me smile now, even as the tears fall down, is that the only scar on the hands that hold you now. I know the road you walked was anything but easy. You picked up your share of scars along the way. But now you're standing in the sun. You fought your fight and your race is run. The pain is all a million scars in heaven they won't belong to me and you there'll be no such thing as broken and all the old will be made new and the thought that makes me smile now even as the tears fall down. Is that the only scars in heaven are on the hands that hold you now? Hallelujah. 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 The hands that hold you now. Not a day that goes by that I don't see you. You live on in all the better parts of me. Until I'm standing with you in the sun, I'll fight this fight and this race I'll run. Until I finally see what you can see. scars in heaven they won't belong to me and you there'll be no such thing as broken all the old will be made new and the thought that makes me smile now even as the tears fall down 
I invite you all to turn into your bulletin where you'll see the Apostles' Creed. Please rise as you are able. Let us confess together the faith that carried Jesus' way for Arlen, Jesus' way that carries you. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ, who said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus, fullness of compassion, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to all who mourn for Arlen, especially Linda and all of his dear family and friends. Dry all their tears and continue to bless them with your comfort. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, firstborn of the new creation, you raise the dead. Give to our brother Arlen life eternal. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, wellspring of life, you washed our brother Arlen in baptism and anointed him with the Holy Spirit. Give him communion with all your saints. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, bread of life, you nourished Arlen at your table on earth. Welcome him at your table in the realm of heaven. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of all grace, we give you thanks because by his death our Savior Jesus Christ destroyed the power of death and by his resurrection opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Make us certain that because he lives, we shall live also and that neither death nor life nor things present nor things to come shall be able to separate us from your love, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us commend Arlen to the mercy of God, our Maker and our Redeemer. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your child, Arlen. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive him into the arms of your mercy and into the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of Christ, amen. Just a word of invitation on behalf of Linda and all the family. Right after the service, please do join us for a time of fellowship and coffee and juice and donuts before everyone makes their way to Fairbury. 
together we sing our recessional hymn, How Great Thou Art, and we're blessed with trumpet as well, too, with Leslie. Thank you. 